Bitch, you secretly took her pajamas. Nate, we really like you. Lindy, what? what? Kristen and Mitch ain't confident. Nate feels misunderstood. Mitch is just having a normal human reaction. Justin surely wants to. Men don't be liking creamy white sauce. Where are these other experts? The families this year are really worried. That's crazy. Oh, Mitch. You didn't have to say that part. Isn't that not good? That can be a problem. The length from his shoulder. No, 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 not in front of mom. It's crazy. I agree with her mom here. Okay, cuddle session. I did they all wrong. Y'all know y'all not in this relationship. Ain't okay, too proud to be. Thank you. Wait a minute, I should say that. Heard it here. What up, Mavs fam? And welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo With Love. With me, your girl, Donna Rizzo, AKA Rizzo. Listen guys, if this is your first time here, we do Married at First Sight, Real Housewives of Potomac. I did some Insecure, I did some Big Brother, we did some Love is Blind. Mixed it up for all reality TV that I really like and kind of have time for because I don't really have time for much lately. But if this is your first time here, welcome. We love this little community. Please make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I do ask a question. Sometimes I ask it throughout the video as well. I do love to interact with you guys in the comments. I do mostly respond to every single thing, unless it's like me and her nasty or rude, but you know how that goes, so don't do that. That's not the page for that. Um, also, we do not give gossip and tea. We do not do after show recaps. I watch the shows live with you guys, kind of, uh, and do my recaps that way so that you can feel that you are watching with me. My hair is currently drying. If this is your first time here, it will get a little bigger, bigger towards the end of the episode. Don't judge me if I have to go away and come back again, okay? So just let's not do that. If I look familiar, you may have seen me on the kickoff special. Hope you guys stuck around for those three hours because me personally, all the way to Essence Fest. So I ain't watch that until later, but I appreciate y'all. Next week, if you missed it this week, next week, join me on Twitter at Rizzo with Love so that you can live tweet and talk with me and interact. Actually, that has become like one of my favorite things to do because it's like real time. I won't be able to do it all throughout the season, but I will notify you on Instagram when I do have availability. So check me out, Rizzo with Love on Twitter, from Rizzo with Love on YouTube and Instagram and across all. Super excited, guys. This is the episode where... It's the first night. Well, first of all, we gotta see Ben and, and Morgan get married. That has to happen this episode. Then we get to see the first night because Mr. Celibacy was touchy, really, so I don't know. Did I make predictions on who's gonna consummate? Justin surely wants to. Alexis ain't too, uh, ain't too proud to bet. No, I'm just playing. But I think Justin might, might get in there. But we shall see. Also, this is the friends and family episode where they meet the parents or the friends for breakfast or brunch the day after the wedding. So super excited to hear that. And hopefully no one ruins these relationships early. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's get to it. To my old heads, my repeats, loyal, love y'all. Let's go. Kristen and Mitch ain't complimenting. Y'all, isn't it interesting to hear Pastor Cal talking about sex on the wedding night? It was interesting that this come up pastor. Not that a pastor is don't mean, you know, getting it in, but then we miss a Viviana. Where are these other experts? Nate and Sasha be kissing, but they not gonna be all right, it's pajama time, ladies. I already told you about these pajamas, and Beth and Brianna already reiterated what we gonna do, ladies. Folks are going in on Mitch, but I think Mitch is just having a normal human reaction, especially here. Like, yo, this is where usually you date somebody and you get to know them, but now I am brushing my teeth right away. Our guards are down. I'm seeing the items she packs. I'm seeing how she lives in a suitcase, out of a suitcase. I'm seeing how she lives in a house they're living, living together. Like. This is all very new because I don't know this person. And honestly, these are all normal reactions to have when you marry a stranger. Okay, let me just go back real quick. Do we think Mitch likes her? I don't know now. Mitch, you secretly took her pajamas that she packed, right? So that she could be the real her. But like, look what this did for Kristen. Because remember past seasons, girls have been like worried for the man to see their face without makeup. And here Kristen is like, I'm so happy in this moment because Mitch actually said he wanted to see me without makeup. So he put her at super ease right now. This is actually good. Oh, Mitch. Wait, I need to see the clock. You know they be going to bed late, where's it? They're gonna cuddle? Okay, if I kiss you on the cheek, Mitch. Why is everybody losing their pajamas this season? There's two restrooms in the hotel room? Okay. Oh yeah, she did say she needs people to help her de-escalate a situation. This is the first example we've seen, and it's a small one, but the fact that she's freaking out over this little moment. Mm. Okay, kisses goodnight. On to Stasha and Nate, because he's into her. You know, he be down to get down tonight. Okay, cuddle session. Started saying I would rather have sex, but then he said, wait a minute, I should say that. Stasha, we like these pajamas. He came out so nervous, I love that. Look at his smile. 
Wow. Kinds of What's your out. expectation of a wife? The first night as we go to sleep right now? I see y'all spooning on. I see it. Best friends. This lasts forever. Mm. They're cute. What's Alexis and wearing? Who has the green juice? I'm going Mitch, right? It's Mitch. Yo, I said this before. Men don't be liking creamy white sauce. And the fact that men don't be liking creamy white sauce does not mean their taste buds are different. Y'all think about something you're familiar with and that's crazy, okay? It's crazy. So y'all remember last season how Michael essentially asked Jasmina if things were going okay to gauge how the relationship was going? And Jasmina was like, why are you fucking this shit up by saying it's not going well? I thought we were doing well. This is how he should ask. And this is the reaction he should have and would have gotten. It was like, I think things are going well. What do you think? Versus, I don't think we're talking enough. What do you think? Right? Let's leave with a positive. Lindsay's super into it. Lindy. Did I say Lindsay? Lindy. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Is, are they? Is it open? Can they travel? You learn a lot about someone when you travel with them. Lindy, what? Miguel is looking at Lindy like, you about to be a lot. <laughs> so she's a little bit of a stress ball. Did y'all see that video of this guy and this girl? They went on vacation. I feel like Costa Rica, Colombia, they went somewhere. And Shorty was coming into America, obviously through customs. You have to fill out that custom sheet. She was freaking out, crying, yelling at her boyfriend like, this is my first time. How can you not be helping me? Why are you not helping me through this? I've never done this before. Freaking out. They're obviously exes at this point. She's like, I don't speak Spanish. I don't even know how to do this. They were like, it's in English. I feel like that was Lindy. And hopefully Miguel doesn't have to be the one to calm her down in those moments. Hopefully she can calm herself down because no, no, no friend of mine or girlfriend, boyfriend. Oh, she's super attracted to him. Yeah. I would freak out if my partner slept with their eyes open because I would look over and think that they're actually still awake. It's weird. Mm. Ooh, what's your biggest insecurity? I would That's say... Real. Stasha's biggest insecurity is that she is fearful that she's not doing what it is that her partner needs, which is also probably why she asked, before they close their eyes, what are your expectations of me, essentially? Because she wants to make sure she's meeting his needs. And if not, that they're in constant communication about it because she wants this to work. And if he's not communicating with her, that only leaves her with her own thoughts and it keeps her spinning and thinking like, Tam, I'm not what he wants me to be. I'm not fulfilling what it is that he wants and he sees in a wife. And that's no good for anyone. Nate feels misunderstood. I told y'all about this military kid. They're both biracial. Y'all notice that these kids who felt isolated like they didn't have anyone on their side are the ones who are the most independent now because they're so used to doing life alone and they've got this chip like i'm gonna be successful i'm gonna have this i'm gonna do that look at me now type of thing and both of them march to the beat of their own drum i love that they can connect on this and i'm hoping that they're able to finally find their person to partner with versus seeing that person as someone who isn't with them and who doesn't need to be with them because their life was fine without them before I love the realness in this conversation and Nate is actually being vulnerable here and he's like, look, it's not like too bad, but every now and then it gets into it. Just yes, what can I do to help with that? Nudge me a little bit if I get too quiet. That can be a problem because Stasha's issue is that sometimes when her partner is too quiet, she starts to think of things on her own. Nate's issue is that sometimes he's too quiet and he needs his partner to push him. That could present a problem. Alexis and Justin, we knew they would be cuddled. He a little poked into the sticky booty. Okay, look at Justin and his bird chest out. The length from his shoulder to his nipple gotta be at least two feet. <laughs> That's creepy. We got one person who sleeps with their eyes half open, and then we got somebody else who watches other people when they sleep. She said, do people say, I like to climb that tree? <laughs> He's like, yes, of course. You know what I'm I think they did only because they didn't say, oh, we didn't consummate our marriage. You know they be asking. Okay, this is the part where they meet the in-laws, the friends, the family for the brunch right after. See, he well. said, I worry that y'all are both so independent. Friend, exactly. Because they are two very independent people, can they come together and build this partnership? That was easy on Sasha. Not the, the interview. Wait, somebody wrote in your vows that you're a freak in the sheet. So what does that look like? <laughs> No, 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 not in front of mama, no. I also think this is crazy that we're like, how long are you willing to wait? You, ha you have to wait, because now you're married to me. So if you don't want to wait, you, you can't have sex. If I want to wait, do we, we see how that goes? 
There's no other choice. Nate is getting emotional. He did a lot. Oh my God, I did Nate all wrong. This is crazy. Hey, is he an only child? Albums. I want to have pictures in the hallway. Right. Mm, that's another yeah. piece of him. Nate, we really like you. I really hate this planted. What are your intentions with my daughter? He's on a show to get married at first sight. He's going to tell you whether he has these intentions or not. He's going to tell you his intentions are to be married and make your wife, ha your daughter happy and to live happily ever after. Like, stop wasting our time with these. Can y'all come with some prepared questions? That's good. Mitch is listening. He's like, okay, I hear these three points. All right, taking that in. Y'all see what's happening here? Kristen, while she was getting ready for bed, was like, look, this, this is what I'm like normally. Like, you know, this is how it would go. Oh, that's what I would wear to the store to make Mitch comfortable in knowing that she's not uppity because he said he was concerned about that. The friends and family are also saying things like that. That makes me think that Kristen was like, yo, when you talk to him, let him know that I'm not a bougie diva because he has concerns. Yeah, you're 41. Why aren't, did your last relationships not work out? And what would they say? Y'all know that's always my thing. Oh, but I love that he's saying, I, the reason it didn't work out is because I, Good job, me I agree with her mom here. Kristen seems like she's easily malleable because she wants this wedding, she wants this marriage by any means because of her failed, you know, the last one. So she seems like she'll work on herself to make this work. The issue is going to be, and he spoke about this in his previous relationships, right? Like, oh, it was a hard time for me to be romantic and be involved in this relationship and care so much about the environment. So his mom was like, look, this is gonna be harder for you. It's not gonna be hard for Kristen. You gotta figure out how to give equally or more to a certain point, right? Cause your job is not your life. Your partner is your life. Okay, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not gonna tell him which, but you need to be able to divide. Wait, I wanna see that gift. She got a little gift from the family. I wanna see that. You heard how Mitch's brother asked that question. He knew that that was crazy. Uh oh, he's a rebel. He doesn't do what people tell him and want him to do all the time. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like there's going to be some production and camera issues. You know how they're like, you need to talk about this. It sounds like he's gonna be like, no, I don't wanna talk about this. Or this is stupid, I'm not gonna ask these dumb questions. Heard it here. He'll it's lash out or it's say something like that. the better of him yeah. It's his pride? He is on Isn't that good? Kristen's worried as she should be but i hope this doesn't backfire right like i hope she isn't later like oh your parents and your family warned me about this and you're doing exactly that <laughs> <laughs> not your son still <laughs> okay. okay so i gotta say that uh, what happened what's wrong yeah, what happened? Me, it was definitely got there. they are hesitant yeah. with a lesson that's a interesting good question how do you respond in anger that is a very good question friend sister i don't know why you're asking that i don't know what happened in your life or in Alexis's past relationships that are making you ask that, but I appreciate that so. J Justin, I feel like you could have left out the fact that you were a sexual pleaser in front of her mom. Like, <laughs> you didn't have to say that part. These are all good questions, not what's your intentions. How do you respond to anger? How do you advocate for yourself? Like, come on, we can do better than that, guys. Than, than the, uh, the other one, these are good. He said she can't, you stuck with me, so. Ain't no quitting. Oh, okay. I forgot last episode, Lindy's brother went in on Miguel on like not having religion. So this is gonna be very interesting. You know what? I hope Miguel asked the question of like, how to calm her down? What does she need when we see her get a little too animated, excited, frustrated? I hope he asked that. He don't believe in God, so who cares about what the Bible says for him? Not her parents telling her husband when to have sex with her. Y'all know y'all not in this relationship? Did you know that? Oh, okay. Oh, Miguel and the relationship. Okay. Why are the family members so hesitant this year? I guess it's your sister, daughter. Now is the time to see, like... All right. Bethany's just so excited to be here. I have astrological signs. Okay, he's a cancer. You're wait, a wait. I think it was Stephanie, Fun Fit Steph. You, or no, somebody said they need the astrological signs. I think Stephanie was the one who said that they post them every year. Look at this. Priscilla's asking the same thing. They okay, he's a cancer. This is why he's so emotional. Oh, she's a true Gemini. She is one side happy-go-lucky Lindy, and the other side complain, get frustrated, get really anxious. 
Lindsay. That's her Jekyll and Hyde, I would say, but that's her Gemini. Yeah. Sister asking the questions. She yes. said, what your finances look like? Okay, so she's like, I've been so driven, now I wanna party. And Miguel is like, I'm older, let's see this more driven woman so that we can settle down as a family. Like, I told y'all, he gonna be Dungeons and Dragons, driven solid. She gonna be the bartender, serving drinks, dancing on tables. This is the super concern. Y'all, the families this year are really worried. And I don't know if that's because of the Married at First Sight track record or what, but I appreciate them not going all the way in for a stranger because you want the best for the person that you're related to or that you're friends with. So I get and I like the realness of this. But this is halfway, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this now. So the question of this episode, this part one of Married at First Sight, season 15, episode four, is, I hate that I always pick the part at the end. Let me see if I, if I ask other questions throughout this, I'm gonna throw them in here too. This first question is, could you date someone who came into a relationship? Not even date, cause marriage, now. That means was mine is yours and was yours is mine, right? Okay. Could you marry someone? Could you sign a business love contract with someone who came into this with a lot of debt, knowing that now that burden is going to be yours as well? All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Again, it has been your girl Rizzo of From Rizzo with Love. Catch me in the next couple of days for Married at First Sight, season 15, episode four, part two. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you always know when it's gonna come out. All right, y'all, I'll see you in the comments. And please remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. All right, guys, bye.